So I have my small little conveyance system. Now I'm going to create the model logic. For that, I'm going to use the process modeling library. I'm going to start by creating a source. The entity type that must um, of the source block itself is an agent. The arrival rate will be set to 0 0.25. The new entity type should be fruit. And the location of arrival is not, at this point, is not necessary. Next, I'm going to add a queue. And the entity type in the queue will also be of type fruit. That is what will be moved across the uh, conveyor in the next step. And after the queue, I'm adding a conveyor. And I'm just going to call that con main. The length will be defined by a path. The speed I'm setting to five and the entity location will be conveyor main. So it's called space main. And the entity types that are being carried is also of type fruit. At the end of the main conveyor, we want it to select the next conveyor based on the size and for that I'm going to use a select block. And let's call that sort size. The entity types in this case will also be fruit. But I do not want to split them based on some probability, but rather on a particular condition. <coughs> if you have a look at the reference library, you can see that you can address the entities that are coming into the select block by the word entity. And if I press control space, it actually picks up that the entities is of type fruit and hence it can actually see the, its variables called size, um, it sees that it is shaped fruit and that it actually has a name and we are interested in the size variable. So we're going to say that if the size is smaller than or equal to 15, then it must go out the first port. Similarly, I'll just copy that. If it is smaller than or equal to 20, it must go out the second port, 25, third port, and lastly, if it is greater than 25, it should go out the fourth port. And for each one of these ports, we're now going to add the relevant conveyor. Start kind of in the middle. Con medium. <coughs> the entity type again should be fruit. It should be defined by its path. The speed will be five, and in this case, the entity location will be space medium. I'm going to just copy and paste a few of these. What I want to do is, as soon as it exits that conveyor, I want the associated variable to also be increased. So on exit, I'm going to say variable small must be incremented. And once that is done, I can just sync the variables. And if 
everything works out well, let me just move this down a little bit. <coughs> we can save our model, build it, and hopefully we have, oops, a couple of errors. Let's just see where that is. Cannot convert from double to integer. Ah, we've captured the default values to be 0.0. .0 whereas in fact it should actually just be zero. We can change that for each variable. That is set to fruit. And we should have a model There you can actually see that entities of different sizes are being created with their numbers appearing kind of on top of them. It does not seem to be well centered, so let's just fix that quickly. There's one of size 12, 18, let's speed it up a bit. And now you can actually see varying entities being created. Every time it's created, it has a random uh, size and the number appearing on it. And we should now see that based on the select block, these fruit are sorted in size based on that size variable of the entity. So once the entity is created with a certain variable, and we can do something similar and attach a state chart to each one of the entities the fruits are now being sorted based on an inherent variable that is carried along with the entity itself